So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of an ASUS LCD monitor. This is an ultra slim model, the MS236H, and there's not a whole lot you can tell about it from the outside of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and just start getting this guy opened up here. You can see that the box is in like 300 million different languages, so that's useful. You can put this on display in a store no matter what country you happen to be in. Okay, so let's get this box opened up. I don't remember if I mentioned already, but this is an ultra slim model. Maybe the cameraman can indicate to me whether I said that already. Yeah, apparently I did say that already. So basically all we're going to do today is we're going to unbox this thing, get it set up, and then plug it into the ASUS notebook that I unboxed the other day. So I just took out the panel. I can already tell it's very thin. And uh, here we go. Let's have a look at the included accessories. So the first thing we find on the bottom side of this foam is this. Huh. Well, we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, the other things we find inside are a power brick. So because it's so slim, they actually were not able to build the power adapter for the monitor into the panel. So it just has, it's a small tiny power brick. I mean, this thing is no big deal. 2.1 amps, 19 volts. And then you've got an adapter cord for that. And then included cables. They've got an HDMI to DVI cable. That is smart. You know what? I really appreciate this because very few people have DVI out on their computers these days. And since it's a HDMI in, I mean, the signal's the same. There's no disadvantage to adapting DVI to HDMI versus using native DVI or native HDMI. So including a cable like this allows them to save whatever they save by not integrating a DVI port. And it still gives you the convenience of being able to plug into DVI on your computer. Awesome. Next we have a VGA cable, just your bog standard blue VGA cable. Okay, so we're on a quest now to figure out what this thing is. I've never seen something quite like that before. But I'm hoping that once I get the monitor out of the bag, it will become apparent what that is. Okay, so the first thing you notice is this is, as advertised, very, very slim. So it's only about the width of my finger. And it's very, very light as well. And so you can see, why don't we start at the back? Actually, let's start at the top. So at the top, you got some ventilation holes. So that's going to keep the, uh, the excess heat coming off of the light and the other electronics under control. And then why don't we move around to the back where we have what appears to be the mount for the stand. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is something to do with the stand for this monitor. Although I would be lying if I said I could figure out just how it works. Uh-oh, hopefully I didn't break it. Oh, okay, so this plugs in, this goes in here. Okay, that goes there. And then you screw this in. Okay, so that's getting much tighter now. I think we're there. Okay, and then this, which I thought I broke, but it looks like I didn't, goes there. Is that, is that really how it mounts? Yeah. Okay, well. Mystery solved. That is how to mount the monitor. Okay, great. Well, why don't I grab the power cord and we'll hook this thing up and have a look. I thought I had just kind of gone crazy there and I couldn't, I thought maybe it was like a, um, a ring that goes between the monitor and the stand or something like that. But um, no, no, that's the stand. Very creative, definitely something different. You know, if you want a monitor with a different looking stand, then you can get this one. Okay, let's plug in the power, get this uh, plugged in. Actually, let's go, let's have a look at the front first. Okay, so this is a, um, a 23 inch monitor and it has a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So that means that it is HD, so 16 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, why don't I start taking off some of these protective stickers here. So you can see ASUS is using a highly glossy finish for this monitor, which uh, as long as you don't touch it, is definitely very, very, very nice looking. And although the screen itself uses uh, a matte finish, uh, uh, an anti-reflective finish. So personally, I really prefer that. 
you don't get the same vibrance that you get with your colors as you do with a glossy screen, but you do get more accuracy with the colors and you also, usually the ones that have the matte screen tend to be higher quality panels is my experience. So touch sensitive button right there and then all of the buttons for the adjustments over on this, on this side here are touch sensitive. So that's pretty cool. So why don't we hit the menu button? Or let me see, how does this work? Okay, so if I touch that, do I hold that? Hmm. Interesting. So if I press menu, what happens? Maybe the button's below or above? Hmm. Well, why don't we have a look at the back of the monitor first, and then we'll figure that out later. I haven't actually shown you all of the input options yet. So around the back, we've got our power input. Then we have a Kensington lock, so you can secure your monitor if you're in an office environment or you need to secure your monitor. Then you have HDMI in, VGA in, and headphones for HDMI. That's pretty cool. Okay, so why don't we just plug this into the computer that I have running in the background here. This is the ASUS gaming notebook that we unboxed the other day. And I'll plug that into the HDMI port. And hopefully it's going to be pretty straightforward to get this thing running. Okay, yeah, it's detected. And we're going to press that. And there we go. I think. Hmm. Monitor is on and Seuss logo. And I'm gonna press it again. And it says VGA no signal, so maybe what we have to do is select a different source. HDMI, VGA. Ah, okay, yeah, the touch button is working, so it's touch sensitive. I've selected HDMI input, and there we go. It is working. That was relatively straightforward. Let's see if I can adjust the brightness a little bit here. So brightness, uh, oh, oh cool, okay, so it's got a few different presets. So you got standard mode, theater mode, gaming mode, which basically turns up the gamma, night view mode, scenery mode, and standard mode. The menu button seems to be working now, which is uh, much, much improved. Anyway, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the MS236H.